It's another on this day, it's John Gibbons with Craig Hannon. We're in the Baltic Social, so nice one for them for letting us film. And we're here, going back to 2011. Uh, Liverpool 3, Manchester United 1. Dirk Hout's hat-trick, he's the first player to score a hat-trick in this fixture since 1990, Peter Beardsley. But Dirk Hout did it, and what a hat-trick it was. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if, if, if you had someone ask you, John, right, yeah. if you were going to score a hat-trick against United, yeah. would you rather score them where they're all like, you know, one with your left foot, one with your right foot, one with your head, like the perfect hat-trick, or would you rather would you rather it be in the worst way possible, which is essentially what Dirk Kites was, wasn't it? We, we reckon it was eight yards in total. <laughs> he scored four for the, for the three goals, uh, eight yards, uh, and, and only three touches as well. And he did it. I mean, it's it's funny because it's it's Kout's hat trick. So if you look at this game, you know, just statistically and looked at it, you think, oh, Dirk must have been amazing. But really, <laughs> really, it's the Louis Suarez show, and it's also. The first real indication, well, one of the first indications of what a special footballer we had in Suarez. That was the that was the introduction, wasn't it? Because I know he scores in his debut when he comes yeah. on again. Just that just keeps still, over the yeah, line. Yeah, just it? about gets over, um, and that was the only goal he'd scored at this stage. By the time this game comes around, and that run for the first goal is just mesmerising. It was one of those where he takes on one, and you think the second man's going to get it. He takes on two, you think the, the second, you know, it keeps going on like that. And um, yeah, it was, it was an unbelievable run. It all, it deserved the goal, didn't it? It deserved the goal. <laughs> well, he's definitely shooting as well. I mean, it's not a pass. I mean, Dave, he doesn't steal it because he needs, he needs to put it in. But, but Suarez celebrates like he scored. I'm sure there's one of those defenders he took on twice in that move. <laughs> but absolutely phenomenal. And as you say, like birth of a superstar. But with Dirk, big game player, he'll always have that hat trick on his name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're a lucky man, Dirk Kite, you're a very lucky man if it weren't for Luis Suarez. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love the hat trick just because of the manner of it, because of the, um, you know, because of at the, the time that it comes, because this is obviously the when Daglish just come back. Um, it's against Man United and it's a bit of a weird time for the club as well so um, when you see a new when you see a new signing like that especially considering Fernando Torres had just recently left uh, I know Andy Carl comes on in this game as well when you see you've got a record signing come on off the bench you've got Luis Suarez doing that um, it's it, it was exciting to see that on that game yeah I mean you mentioned Andy Carroll there it's actually his first game at Anfield which I'd forgotten he kind of comes on for which is quite interesting and then the other one it's known for um, is, is Carragher's tackle on Nani, which is unbelievable. When we do live shows, uh, we do uh, we got got some booked in, so do get tickets. Um, when we do live shows, people often ask us kind of uh, what Neil sometimes says. You know, does it opening questions with everyone on, on kind of on stage, and often the one who's best tackle and Carragher's on Nani in this game always gets a shout. I mean, he cried, Craig. He made him cry. <laughs> right, there's two things with this tackle because I've chosen this on live shows before. The first thing is he makes him cry. The second thing is he gives him shit. He gives him shit. He's like, "What you, what you lying down there for?" Hardly touched you. Yeah, hardly touched you. And I, I believe, I believe he like starts showing him the bit, the dent in his <laughs> leg that he'd got him. He doesn't get sent off for it, does he? No, no. He gets a, he gets a yellow even, or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, but he's even booked. He definitely doesn't walk. Well, again, there, you know, that's it. That's another aspect of why it might be the greatest tackle of all time. <laughs> it, it makes a Man United player cry, and he gets away with it. Gets away with it. It was a great day. Um, I mean. Do we maybe miss someone making that big tackle in a game now? Do you think it does kind of set the tone, really? I mean, we've got a lot of great players, and maybe I'm nitpicking, but, you know, we went to Old Trafford recently, and kind of, that, that may be big tackle. Are we missing that a little bit? I almost think we have it in a different way now, where rather than it be a, a, a big tackle, it sort of sets a tone and gets the atmosphere going. It's like, you know, like the Andy Robertson run against Man City, yeah. or Milner does it recently against it's Watford, tempo, where, maybe, you know, he sets the tempo by closing someone down quickly, and that's, all, that's almost the big tackle of nowadays, I think. So, um, look, I love a big tackle. I, you know, throw a big tackle in early game, uh, early doors in the game, and, and I'm well up for it. But um, I think football's changing slightly, isn't it, John? <laughs> <laughs> football's changing slightly, but we'll always have their counts. It was a their cow hat trick. It was an amazing Louis Suarez performance. It was a brilliant atmosphere, and it was a great day to be a Liverpool fan. Uh, that's another one of on these days. If you enjoy them, do share these. Do let people know what we're up to. In the meantime, up to Reds.